Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to set up a mod browser inside of Unity. Here it is in my current game, Meeple Station. If we click the mods button on the title screen, it's going to bring up the browser and it's going to load all of the mods that have been submitted online by users. We can now click on any one that we like, we can see what it's about, and of course we can subscribe to any mods that we want and view them here in our collection. We can see them download, we can deactivate them, or we can unsubscribe to mods that we don't want. This entire browser can be set up in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you how to do that now inside Unity. Once you've downloaded and imported the free Mod.io plugin from the Unity Asset Store, go ahead and open the Plugins folder, go to Mod.io, Mod Browser, open the Prefabs folder, and drag the Mod Browser Prefab onto the canvas. Under the Mod Browser script, there's a Plugin Settings button. If you click that, it'll take us to the settings for our Mod Browser. When you set up a game profile on the Mod.io website, you'll get an ID and API key. You can input that in here. However, I'm just going to input the ID and API key for an example game profile that we have set up on our test environment. I'll leave this in the description, but if you do want to use the test API key and ID, make sure you hit the insert URL for test API. Otherwise, if you're using your own game profile, you'll probably want to use the production API link. You can also hit this button here that'll take you to the website where you can recover the ID and API key for your game profile. Now we'll go ahead and press play. And once our mod browser loads, you'll see it recovers all of the mods from our example game profile. You can just check that it works, click a few of these mods and make sure they show up in the collection, which they do. And now that we know our mod browser is working, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the file parts and the directories for the mods that users subscribe to inside of C Sharp. The first thing we need to do is make sure we're using the mod.io namespace. Then we just need one line of code. I'm going to create a list of strings. I'm going to call it mods. I'm going to get the mod manager to get installed mod directories. There's a boolean here that we can pass. We'll set that to true. And that's going to make sure it excludes any of the mods that the user has deactivated inside their collection. And there you have it. You now have all of the file paths for all of the mods that your users want to install. But before we finish, I'm just going to include a quick loop, which will output the file names for these mods from the directories that we have just retrieved, just so I can show you that it is in fact working. So if we go back to our scene, I've just included this script here on our browser. If we go ahead and play, it'll load. We have our mods here that we just subscribed to earlier, and we have two outputs, which are the two names for these two example mods. They're not very memorable names, but they are, in fact, the names. And that's all there is to it. We now have all of the file paths for all of the mods. You can install them however you like into your project. And of course, you can customize your browser however you like. We have a comprehensive documentation online, and you can always contact someone from the Mod.io team. But for now, Thanks for watching.